everybody, it's Miss Kara again from uh, Wintergreen Art Center. And today's project is going to be one of my personal favorite spring flowers, the hyacinth. So the hyacinth comes in purple, pink, and white. So whatever you have, um, maybe laying around the house, if you're like me, I save every bit of tissue paper from birthday parties and things like that. So I have, you know, a great stash at home. So if there's any moms like me, then you will have plenty. I chose purple, uh, but you certainly can choose uh, pink or white as a choice. So th that is one of the uh, materials that you'll need. Also a paper towel roll, and we'll need some Mod Podge or you know Elmer's glue, really anything just to be able to stick the flowers and the base on. We also have a little bit of green cardstock, but you can also use construction paper. And also, I have a paintbrush because I'm gonna just paint the Mod Podge on. But if you're using Elmer's, that you don't need the paintbrush. I have a ruler just to cut the bottom portion of the cardstock and a pencil. So these are, are pretty easy materials that you should be able to find just around the house. Okay, so the first step is to get your cardstock. And we want to measure about halfway, maybe a little less than halfway. So I think right here is about four and a half inches. So you'll just want to go ahead and measure your paper about four and a half inches there. And then also here, and then we'll just draw a line to connect the dots. Then I'll just cut, cut out the box a little bit. I'm not sure how much, how much I need, but I'm just going to start by attaching attaching this to the roll. And then I'm gonna just start rolling it up. But yes, I have, I have plenty here. So then I'm just gonna cut it straight off. And then I'll just set this aside for, uh, to put on the leaves. All right, I'm just gonna put another piece of scotch tape here and here to hold your stem together. All right, so that part is all finished. The next part is getting the tissue paper and cutting it into strips. And you can either cut it into little small squares like this, or you can rip it. It really doesn't make a difference, but you know, it's, it's kind of fun to rip it. And then you're just gonna kind of crumple it up. So each one of these is just gonna get crumpled up. So you're just gonna crumple all of these up. And then you're just gonna keep going through the process. Um, you're gonna probably use about a sheet and a half to two sheets of tissue paper because it does, this is a, a, a large area to cover. But what I like to do was to just do a few at a time and then glue them and then go back and repeat the process. So I'm going to use Mod Podge. Um, you can use Elmer's glue for this, but I just liked to be able to just paint it on. So I'm just going to dip it in here. And just going to do a small section. And then just attach each piece to the small section that was glued. And you're going to want to put it in there um, fairly close because if not, you'll end up with a few bald spots and nobody wants that. So. So just, just 
glue look small sections at a time because this does uh, dry fairly quickly so you don't want to paint the whole thing and then try to rush to uh, get everything glued on okay so we have gotten this all completed here and the next step is to just cut out a couple of leaves so all right so we have one leaf and then you don't actually need to draw anything out just cut whatever you kind of and we're going to just add them to the side but if you want to kind of bend them so that they kind of bend outwards and do that and i am just going to get a little bit of mod podge and attach that there just need to dry for a little bit. And then I have a little bit of tissue paper left at the end and I didn't want to have um, the top of the tube visible so I'm just going to kind of poke that in the top. You could put a little bit of um, glue on the edge if you want just to kind of hold it in place attached on the top and there you have a completed pink hyacinth. So now we have a pink and a purple and these will look great on your windowsills at home.